Yo, what's up everybody? Chris Puncelon here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show how to make beats faster. So here we got a fresh Ableton session pulled up. Um, what we're gonna do is I'm going to pull up a few drum racks. Right? So this one is going to be my kick. This one is going to be my snare, and this is going to be percussion. Now I'm going to put the typical plugins that I use for each element. So for the kick, what I usually do is I usually throw an EQ on there, and I have one knob, the louder. Come on. Dude, what is going on? There we go. Next, I'm gonna go to snare, and I'm going to pull up a reverb. Bam. Throw an EQ on there and then throw on one knob, but this time I'm going to put brighter. And I do this because it saves me time when I'm making a beat. I just pick the sounds, make a pattern, and I already have the plugins in there. I don't have to search. It helps me keep the momentum going. So next I'm going to percussion. I'm gonna put the chorus on here. Usually throw some reverb and EQ. Just to let you guys know, I don't keep it like this. I do manipulate each plugin. After I pick my sounds, I'll go in here and I'll still manipulate the EQ and I'll still manipulate the one knob and for, like for percussion, I'll still mess with the chorus, the reverb and the EQ. I'm not gonna just keep it like this. I'm still gonna mess with it. it just makes the process so much faster and speed is everything. So next, I'm going to have a MIDI track. So what I'll do is I'll just right click here, insert MIDI track and this is gonna be my bass and I'm gonna throw the usual, the typical plugins that I have on each bass. So I have our bass, load up the preset that I usually use, EQ, and then some distortion. Turn this down. Okay, so we got that. Next thing I do is throw a limiter on the master. Got a little ultra, turn on my preset. Fix this real quick, turn the threshold to 15. Now, this is my template. This is the typical template that I open up every time I make a beat. Everything is on here. I have my kick, snare, percussion, bass. All of my plugins are plugged in. If I'm gonna go and make a beat, I can just make a pattern, find a sound, um, and off I go. Now, to save this, what I do is I'll press save live set as. I usually save everything to my desktop and then I'll just name this beat template. Let's say I'm going to make a beat. I'll just go on my desktop. Here's the beat template. Open this up, beat template. Here's that. And let's let's just say I make a beat, right? I'm going, I'm, I'm like doing all this stuff. Now, how do I save it? Well, I go to file, save live set as, so you don't save over the beat template, save live set as, and I'll name it a new banger of the century and there you go so you don't you have to save you have to click file save as because if you just save it it's going to save over your beat template and then you're just going to have to erase everything and remake a new beat template so again after you go and add your kicks and your snares and all that and you're going to go and save your project you hit file save live set as that way you don't save over the beat template all right that's gonna conclude this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to Rocksteady Beats for this comment. If you guys have any questions regarding Ableton, Final Cut, whatever, leave it down in the comments below and I'll try my best to figure it out in the next episode. Thank you guys for the support. Tweet me, snap me, DM me on Instagram. I reply to everybody unless it's spam. One love, two fingers, peace out. I'll see you guys in the next video.